Hi everyone, it's Anna and um this is a really like spontaneous video. I actually um I'm gonna write a short story today. I'm gonna try. I think I literally just saw there's like a award thing for like young Australian writers to write um short stories and I want to try and write a short story and it's like due in four days like that's the cutoff where they um stop like the entries and I'm kind of planning a book right now well a short story and I literally don't even know if I can do this in four days but it's a challenge and I love challenges so I'll see how I go so my current story I have is like just like a little overview this was kind of an idea I had like ages ago when I was just like brainstorming ra random stories and I just have like a whole kind of list of different sort of ideas that I kind of think about but I can't really get to yet um, but this idea is essentially about a girl who is a sculptor and she kind of sculpts um, people and faces that she sees in her own dreams and one day she is sculpting and she gets a knock at the door with this person that seems very very familiar and it happens to be a literal person that she has sculpted into stone dude i don't even know what the story is but like i guess that's the idea and it's kind of like inspired by this image that i kind of found on pinterest like ages ago it's a bit blurry but it still has the idea there and then i think she ends up like traveling to an actual museum where they have these sculptors and she's able to actually talk to them or something like that it kind of gives me paranesi vibes if you haven't read this book read that book that's the idea this is update one i'm just kind of brainstorming right now and seeing what i can kind of come up with if this idea doesn't like take off the ground i'll definitely have to find another one so um yeah Okay, update. I, it's literally been like 10 minutes later and I, I've like done a little research because I knew like maybe this can go into like Greek mythology since, um, you know, sculpting was a really big part of like, you know, ancient Greece and stuff like that. But look what I found. I, oh my gosh, wait, I'll go to the other tab. It's called On the Winged Victory of Summer Thosh summer um thrice oh my goodness this is perfect look how beautiful this goddess is and the statue has no head or no arms and <laughs> that kind of gave me such a big idea because the girl sculptor she like the main character she maybe instead of drawing different faces she keeps seeing this one face of a girl and she just continues like all of her sculptors even though if she tries she ends up chipping away and finding that it's her face but she doesn't know whose face is because she has never seen that person until she knocks out a door something like that or she somehow gets told to go to this specific museum and i just like can picture a huge like sort of transformative scene where she's standing i'll show you she like stands at the front of this huge staircase like this is what the staircase looks like isn't that epic and she stands there and she like i don't know it's like she's awakening a god or something and like she ends up figuring out the actual true like what happened because supposedly um they use this statue as like an offering as like a victory offering um on a boat like at the the front of the boat when they won like a seawall or something but maybe since her head and like arms are chopped off it's as if something else happened um and the gods did not accept it or maybe they were losing actually and it was like a sign of like sacrifice to help for the gods to like help this is literally how my mind is going i don't know sorry if the lighting is changing as well this is an insane crazy video i'm sorry but like this is how my mind works really like in reality <laughs> about me actually plotting writing a book especially a short story since it's a very like quick 
quick ideas, very like, um, not, you don't have to really think very, very specifically because it's not a huge story which has all these intricate details. It's very short and just these really like few key ideas and you smash them together and it doesn't have to really make sense because that could be like artistic <laughs> in a way. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do some more writing. I'm kind of excited because I was really thinking that this story would not work but of course with this photo I think anything can happen so I'm gonna go ahead and do some more writing and I'll probably update you later yes <laughs> Okay guys, um, update. It is the next day. Um, I just wanted to say that <laughs> yesterday um, my friend actually came over and I was like explaining the story to her and she thought it was okay. She definitely kind of brought up some kind of problems with like the linkage of different sorts of elements in this short story, but I have started to actually write it now. I am so, so excited. Um, this is kind of just like what I have so far. Sorry if it's a bit crooked, but yes, I have like my planning document right here where I just like listed a few of the things that happen in the plot. Then over here, I have my actual start of my short story, which I hope is okay. I'm kind of feeling a little bit fishy with like how I'm actually starting um, this book because it's like, I don't know, the start is good, very quick and easy, but then it kind of goes to like a history lesson slash like a uh, flashback. So I'm not sure if I do want to start like this, but at least it's a start. And so far, I think I really like it. Something that I've also been doing is also researching um, this amazing statue that literally like, I looked at other statues because I was thinking like, maybe I can, you know, look at different sorts of like mythology, different goddesses, but I'm like, no, it has to be this one. I think mainly it's because the whole idea of um, Nike, who's the goddess, goddess of victory, she has no face and also no arms, which is really interesting because it could kind of link to the reason why the main character, the main girl who's the sculptor, she just keeps uh, yeah, sculpting the same exact face and it's almost like because i don't know it's, it's hard to explain but the goddess since she doesn't have arms can't really sculpt them i don't know it's kind of like a weird a weird idea and that's why like my friend amber really brought up some really good points which i'm still going through and it is still a little bit of a struggle but i am excited anyways do you know how many tea i literally have like three half drunken teas at my desk and it's it's great but i literally need to go to uni now so i'll do a little bit more writing but i might be a bit busy with yeah school and stuff but hopefully i can get this done i think i have like two more days <sighs> i'm really excited for this so that's this update I don't know, I got the juice, got the sauce Get from around me, boy, get lost You look goofy, you're a fraud Don't fuck with lames, swear to God And before you blew me off Then I glued up and took off Now you're left in the exhaust But that's your own damn fault Should've known you was fucking with a box Yeah Should've known you was fucking with a box Yeah, yeah, yeah Hi everyone, update. Um, it is the next day and I actually kind of forgot to vlog, sorry guys, but I have submitted it already. This is my favorite teacup ever. Like it is so cute because it can like, yeah, it's cute. I have already submitted my story to the Young Writers Awards for like Queensland, which is the state I live in for um, Australia. Cause I'm in Australia. I live, I live in Australia. What's really good is that I actually got some feedback from my siblings and I kind of also talked again when I told you about I talked about the story to my friend Amber and she was really great. For example, I got some feedback from my sister Jess and she's been like um, traveling with her boyfriend Rio. I love Rio so, so much and like, oh my 
my gosh he just sent me another like um message about my story and like the messages like literally helped so much like he sent me so much like um feedback and just like most of it was just praise and i'm like because mm -hmm. i was loki kind of really really iffy about the idea until i finished it um yesterday morning and it was kind of a little bit nerve-wracking because really interesting though really interesting sorry my brain's a bit um fuddled right now actually, i actually want to tell you guys what the last sentence of my book of that short story was because I knew I think I was gonna end it like this and it's a really mysterious sort of ending but I didn't like I wasn't prepared for it because it was such a short story and like I just said the last sentence and I'm like oh anyways I really hope to kind of um, just read you it really quick okay so the main character is Daria so she's the main character and it says Daria McClave drowned on August 29th 1996 at 23 years old medical professionals cannot explain how she drowned in a museum nor why her face and arms were gone mm, like I find that really like ugh, like girl and like my um siblings were like yeah that's really creepy and like mysterious and I'm like I thought it would be annoying to end a story like that like very abruptly and like oh my gosh like she died how original but like that's the only way i felt like i could actually how i could actually like finish the book if you know what i mean i'm still in my pjs by the way which is like so good here's kitty say good morning kitty however uh yeah i'm so excited for the story and i was able to submit it finally um i just had like so so much fun like writing it and even if it was just like you know writing a short story in three days like it is very i don't know it's very fun and like thrilling almost because you're like damn i wrote that in like three days something that i think also was really important was the fact that i needed to actually format the document and i think it's very important that whenever you're going into <coughs> like um competitions you make sure you read like the um like the requirements for your actual document and that can include like you know i had to use times new roman font i had to use 12 as the font size even the margin size which like i have never really touched before so like learning how to do that was actually really really cool but anyways we did it kitty didn't we Woo! But anyways guys, I thank you so much for watching um this little mini vlog. I know I only really filmed like twice, but it was so so fun just to kind of um allow you to come along with me and just like really write a book in three days since it, I did technically finish it yesterday. But oh, yeah, so I'm so cute. so excited. I am not expecting to win anything or like evenly like go into the finals or whatever. I just wanted to have that idea of just kind of like being able to submit um, something that I really liked and i guess i was really proud of this story i would really like to share this short story with you guys hopefully after the um competition ends ah, i'm so excited i hope you guys are doing well i hope you're writing well and again like i think it's so so good if you are like writing a really big like fantasy book or like a huge series and like you have like one project i think it's really important just to kind of take a break and work on something like this and like if there is an opportunity for you to even like submit something or even like give your book or like some like some sort of short story short like excerpt of your book to another person i actually have never ever gotten anyone to read anything of mine ever and like send the document to them so that they can like give me feedback like that has never happened so yeah it was actually a little bit nerve-wracking as i was saying about just like having to submit and give it to other people even if it was like my friend and you know my sisters like it's still still very very scared but just like their little messages they gave me like i don't deserve that and like it just felt really weird because I've told them like about my writing and that, you know, I tell them my ideas sometimes. I don't know. It just made me feel so, so good. And yeah, have faith in your work. I literally thought this story was trash. I hope you guys enjoy the video and the vlog. Um, and yeah, I just hope you guys really just have faith in your own work and to just like really, I love how kitties like just the kitties. Ah, uh, but yeah, you guys are doing amazing. You're writing amazing. And again, just keep writing, keep pushing forward. And I know you guys will be great authors one day. Okay, I hope to see you in my next vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye.